Today, I get to share with you my other favorite vintage hobby. Hello and welcome. I'm Lindsay Crane and these are my retro craft dreams. In a previous video, I showed you a cross stitch piece that I acquired from an unusual source, a mail-in offer from some cookies. This time, I have another unusual source for my 80s cross stitch pattern, puzzles. This is a Springbok puzzle from their Puzzle Plus series. There are four mini puzzles in this box and being part of the Puzzle Plus series, it includes the patterns for them. Most of the time, Springbok puzzles aren't dated unless something else in them is copyrighted, which the cross stitch pattern is, and it is from 1988. I have been itching to do this one for a long time. I kind of love this idea of recreating my puzzles in real life. I think it'll be fun to like put them side by side and see how they line up. Today we're gonna work on these apples because I think it's just gonna be perfect for fall. I am ready to say goodbye to this heat and just cozy up under a blanket with some stitching. So I hope you'll join me for some stitching and some puzzling and just a relaxing good time. Let's get to it. According to my database, I only have two of these colors and I'm gonna have to buy the rest because of course I am. We're looking for 350. There you are. And 368, which is a pistachio green. So there we go. All right, so I got these two and I'm gonna have to buy the rest. The pattern recommends 18 count Ada in ivory. I just dug through my stash. These are the two 18 counts that I have. And I do have one in ivory, but I thought I would see what the colors look like on these two before I commit. I have the two colors I already had. And then here are all of the new ones. Yes, definitely having these colors on the ivory is the correct choice, but I will say I'm not sure I'm feeling this color. So I might see if there's a richer brown that I can replace that with. Here are the colors next to the picture. This color is supposed to be this one. I didn't like it here. I like it even less in person. Clearly it has changed over the years. I don't know what I wanna do about it yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and decide when I get there. Don't you just love it when a pattern has a self gritting element? I haven't been filming a lot of this. I'm just stitching these lines randomly any which way and it's kind of fun that way. Okay, one apple almost done. I don't really like the little quarter stitches there, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the back stitch. Partway through apple two and it's looking like a mushroom cap and it's really cute. little red squares. That's two apples down. Do you still need to back stitch the apples themselves, but the stems and leaves are back stitched? Here we are, a little more than halfway through the main color on apple number three. Okay, it's looking so cute. Like, you ever have that moment where you look at a picture of it and it's like, oh, that's cute, I wanna do it. And then you do it in person and you see it in person and you're like, oh, it's so cute. I love it. Like. I think that's the moment I live for when 
when cross stitching and doing these crafts is that moment when it just looks so much better in real life. Apple three, almost done. I'm a little less sold on this particular green with this particular red. It kind of looks less cute than it did before, but that's okay. It's still cute. Three down, one to go. October 1st and 80 degrees here in Michigan so I'm just gonna have a little bit of a picnic here in the backyard uh, and get some fresh air. <laughs> I'm about to start in on the words, but I want to make a little bit of a change. Previous viewers of this channel may have had the opportunity to get to know my black cat, Toby. And in this video, you definitely met Pixel, who is not even my cat. However, you did not have the opportunity to meet Pippin. Pippin was my cat for about 18 years, and she's just so near and dear to my heart. And I lost her. I don't know, probably nine months before I started this channel. This puzzle has the word Pippin on it. Even though it's an apple, um, it's still her name. And I don't really like that it's way off to the side. Even though she has nothing to do with this piece, I kind of want to swap the words around so that her name is front and center, just as a little inside thing, just for me. That's all the apples and all the words. I switched Pippin to the middle on the bottom next to the heart. It makes me so happy to see her there, even though it's an apple.
I just have these squares left. These are the squares that have that color that just looks really, really different. This is the one that it calls for, and I just, I'm not really feeling that color. This is the one that was used in the stems. And then I didn't have a whole lot to choose from in my stash, but I did pull this one and it just feels nice and warm. And I think it might be good here. I can't make up my mind. I just did basically a satin stitch so I could get a quick idea of what each color would look like. I didn't think I liked that color and maybe it's just the lighting, but it kind of looks like a penny. It's like nice and shiny and I kind of like it now, but I don't think it'll look like that in crosses. This one's a little harder to tell. It doesn't seem to have the same coverage, but I kind of like having them both and might try and do that. Okay, here's a little update on the browns. I went ahead and tried the called for color in the center in crosses, but I really like it as the satin stitch. So I think I'm gonna do the center sides in the warm brown in regular crosses, but I might just keep these four corners as the nice shiny satin stitch. I just think it'll be a little more interesting. This pattern has not been without errors. Not a huge amount, but you know, a few. And most of them I was able to catch in the moment or at least near enough where I could address them at that time. But see if you can spot the one that I didn't catch until I had moved on way past it. Maybe I won't tell you what it is. Just know that I know that there's an error here and I'm just gonna fix it later. So I'm not gonna mount this piece just yet. But there is one more thing to do.